Well, I can't even get my words together. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, everybody? It is your favorite dynamic duo here coming to you live from Montego Bar and Grill located at 1818 North Charles Street where the amazing Afani is the owner and our gracious host and amazing bartender. That's right. Just hope he don't make them drinks like he did last week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's too crazy. Yeah, it's I do so not time. recommend. So, listen, we are here for another episode of Dot Dot Dot. Walk into a bar. So, you know me, Rhonda, of uh, RSVP Event Management, and. It's your boy, Mr. 100. Our live ET Music Group. Henny and Coke. Right. Henny and Coke. Yes, and, you know, we are part of the film. And I do have a joke. That's another conversation off camera. Listen, we are the Film Fan brought to you by WPV Media Networks, headed up by our a lovely owner, April J. And of course, she got the backbone support of 7 Nazir of Nazir MMP behind the scenes. And so listen, we are ready to get into it. So again, you guys know how it goes. We have four new guests that have joined right. us tonight. They don't know each other, right, David? No, they don't know each other. They don't know each other. They know they, me, but they don't know each other. Right, they know us, and, you know, but they don't know one another. They don't know what the topics are that we're getting ready to throw out at them. So we want them to be transparent. We want them to be honest, you know, and if someone disagrees with your opinion, that's fine. We, you know, that makes for TV. We just ask that you don't do any throwing of your beverages across the table. <laughs> Red wine does stain white walls. And we do need to broadcast live here from here next week. <laughs> All right, so let's introduce our guest. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, I'll find you. We'll put us out uh, right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we lucky we can't. Well, they will come back. Uh, yeah, somebody just fell down the steps. Yeah, somebody fell down the steps. Yeah, yeah. Liabilities. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so go ahead. Who do we have joining us tonight? We're gonna start to my left. Okay. We have Miss Nikki Parker. Oh, she is our resident entrepreneur yeah. for tonight. That's right. All right. Up and, next. And that gentleman next to her. I know his face looks very No, blue. no, no. I think this you know, is going to be a thunderous altercation. I'm like, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, what is it? Controversial? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know all of that? Yes, everyone. That face looks familiar. That is Mr. David Glover, co-host of Thunderous Altercations, one of the shows that broadcasts live on WPB Media Networks every Saturday with his lovely co-host, Miss Kay Renee. All right. Who else we got? We got Shaquille in the house. Yes, brother Shaquille. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna let you tell me what it's about because I know him from that that lane. That, that lane. Yeah. What's well, tonight? That, the lane that he drove in on was that of a guitarist. So okay. With okay. Entourage. All right. All right. All right. All right. He came with an entourage this evening. We love when our guests come with entourage. Yes, indeed. And then speaking of which. All right. This lovely lady. We gonna take it across the world. She came in with her assistant. Yeah, that's right. This is this is we awesome. have right Miss. Paris. Paris. I don't know about France, I don't know about London. <laughs> Paris in the building. Paris is in the building. She is our lovely writer. writer. So we have a entrepreneur, a counselor, a guitarist, and a writer, and they all walked into a bar. Dot, dot, dot. Walk into a bar. bar. All right, so who, who's going to go first? Me or you? Yeah, I think you should go. Oh. I, I got, I got deep, deep questions. What do you mean? My questions are deep too. Yeah, okay. Let's see how don't deep do they that. are. Don't do that. Don't do that. Are they deep as they are? This. They deep. They deep. Okay. All right. All right. Just Let's just. <laughs> all right. So. Y'all yeah, ready? Okay. okay. So I know if anyone <coughs> who has any social media attachments had to be aware that last week. The whole Momo Challenge thing swept the nation. All right, so let me give you a little background yeah, information. We'll the, the Momo Challenge was targeted to children ages two to five years old on their tablets, on their iPads, and specifically on YouTube kids as they're watching Pepper Pig. And so this face would pop up on the screen, and the face was instructing children on how to do self-injurious behaviors. 
teaching them how to stick a fork into an electrical outlet, teaching them how to turn the stove on, and telling them that if they didn't do these things, that they would come, he, it would come at night and kill them in their sleep. So each challenge would go to the next level and ultimately that of committing suicide. So this is a phase that swept the social media, it calls for the hashtag no mo mo challenge. So apparently this momo figure, very scarce, and it was actually an Asian art piece that was done, but the artist has no, has claimed no affiliations with it. It's just whoever is behind the momo challenge took the painting and made it into a real life character that was hacking into children's screens as they were watching TV shows like Peppa Pig. And parents not even knowing it because they think that they've done everything that they're supposed to do with privacy settings and all of that. So that is one challenge that has swept social media. And that one is a little on the scary, detrimental Very end. Scary. But there's other challenges. The ice bucket challenge, the hot Cheetos challenge. Um, with all of these challenges, so the question becomes, why are individuals so eager to allow social media to be their moral compass? Like folks really sit there and wait for the next challenge, no matter how crazy, no matter how health side effects or anything like that. So in your opinion, why do you think that we are, or individuals are so eager to be on the next new challenge and to videotape it and to post it? Yeah. I'm just thinking most people just want to be a part of something. And that's what it seems like. I know it's, it's pretty dangerous though to even do that, but it's like everybody wants to be the next hit. Mm -hmm. And that's probably what's going on. But kids, I mean, why aren't they allowing, where are the parents at when these kids are doing these things, I'm wondering? Well, that's the thing. They instructed them to do it like while their parents are asleep. So she's very specific. She tells them, when your parents go to sleep, get up, find these sharp objects. We even had a hand go up showing how to slit the wrist. So yeah, it was that serious. So children, parents of children that age, please be vigilant. I think when you see things on um, any kind of media, be TV, video, or any of that, there's just, sometimes it's, it's peer pressure, yeah. you know, or just, yeah. or some people want to be seen, but these are children, so if you're talking about somebody that's really young, yeah. and it might just be because it has the face of, something that they trust, if it's Peppa Pig or whatever mm -hmm. else is out there, exactly. that this is what they, you exactly. know, they want to do what they do, yeah. you've seen them, they jump and do all, they sing the songs and they do whatever else they do anyway, so this is something they trust, and okay, we'll go and switch your wrist, or go and do something else, you know, but don't tell mommy, don't tell daddy, yeah. it's just crazy, that's, that's crazy. Okay. 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 Uh, that Momo thing, that, that creature is hideous, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. You would think if a kid see that, they should automatically run and tell their parents and show them, like, mom and daddy, look who came up on my own screen. Especially if it's something they're not used to seeing. Mm -hmm. My understanding is the threat, though. If you do show it, I will come. Because that's what the nine-year-old who they interviewed on the news. Her mother did show, saw changes in her baby. Like she wouldn't go to the bathroom. Right. Um, to her, she would go all the way to the bathroom and her mother would go. Because she, and her mom's like, what's wrong? And then she showed her. <coughs> and and you know, when that happens, when you say, like, I'm going to kill your parents. Or right. yeah. Most kids are afraid of that. Like, yeah. That's Most how molestation happens. That's exactly yeah. how that starts. That's exactly. It's just don't you tell me why well, I'm going to do something to your parents. It's all the stuff that we have to look out for. All these things that we have to keep warning our children against, and, and then they keep coming up with new things that we're not even prepared for. Exactly. And then, okay, well, no, look out for this and look like, how do you keep up as a parent? How do you keep up? Yeah, they, they, they want to tap into the psyche of our people on many different levels. Uh -huh. you know, so when it comes down to these YouTube and these, these, these places where we travel just to get to a point where we can know, feel some type of security, you know, because that's, that's all it is, you know. A lot of people wish to have our own culture, then we can go towards our own culture. But mm -hmm. since we, you know, go to other ones, you know, cultures, many different cultures out yeah. there, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you have, you know, their, their uh, cyber network is a different culture, and it's, uh, um, you know, manipulating what is that, you know, yeah. because at the same time as them doing that, they're not going to give you things to influence your mind, influence your spirit, influence, mm -hmm. you know, they give them, 
even when the youths get on, on the YouTube, like, we only have a certain limit of the things that they can really watch. Yeah. It's not really, you know, we got Peppa Pig or what, what else. We got, you know, I, I just, I had found uh, Tinga Tinga, you know, my son, you know, I had found something, you know, but at the end of the day, it's just, that's, that's, that's not something that we, we, we set up and build. And then, yeah, we build it out as, you know, putting our energy into it, you know, but at the same time, we gotta have our own platforms to be able to cultivate yes, women. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I agree. I think it's start with that. So what about the other challenges? Like, why do you think, like, I, I, I heard something like to be in the in crowd or to be seen or to get the lights and things yes. like that. Like, I'll be honest, uh, when we had that snowstorm a couple years ago, I jumped into it in my bathing oh, suit. Wow. You know? <laughs> <laughs>
phone is there and I'm looking yeah, because yeah. a lot of times is people don't watch the news anymore and they get mm -hmm. a lot of information right. from there. Yeah. Unfortunately, you get on there and you're like, rest in peace, such and such, mm -hmm. and you're like, wow, rest like, in peace, right. stuff like that, and it's just crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just brought that yeah. up. Yeah. Really? He died, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But well, you're right, you find out faster yeah. on, social on social media sometimes than you do on regular news. Sometimes you go to certain people's pages because you know they have mm -hmm. all the breaking news. Yeah, and yeah. Like, right. oh, I'm, I'm absolutely guilty of that. Like, yes. if I think something is trending, mm -hmm. Twitter, mm -hmm. I'd be first mm -hmm. like, what did you say? I'd be hashtag whatever, <laughs> and it'll come right. I'd be like, yup, okay, so this happened, wow. this happened. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I don't watch the news anymore because it's, it's just that it's depressing. I'm sorry. Sure. It, to me, it's depressing. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to watch it every day, and now it's like some, something's always crazy mm -hmm. happening. Someone's getting killed. Or, like, look, I can't have that negative energy in my brain in the morning. I get up, I got to meditate, then I check my phone. I'm not worried. I know we should. I definitely understand we should. Sometimes I do, and I'll just don't turn the bottom up. I think you should just be informed. Exactly. Whatever it is exactly. that you inform. So I'll just, just turn it on, but don't turn the bottom up. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, in those situations, you know, when it comes to, I mean, even looking up, you know, the phone and stuff. Mm -hmm. and I mean, uh, I, I, I come off with the ivy and I, I'll definitely get up and I'll, I'll write. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, I get into the simplicity of life, right? Mm -hmm. when, it, when, we, uh, when we had notebooks, we had, we, was, we used to get up and we used to yeah. take your pen, notepad, write something down, mm -hmm. write down your daily goals, mm -hmm. your the next thing, your manifestation. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, now you have phones with technology, you write down your, you write down your notes. Mm -hmm. So you write down your notes, you write down your notes and things like that. And then, and then within that, you got your networks, your connections yeah. and things like that. So these things can be used as tools to uh -huh. be able to yeah. influence oh, in a very popular, in, in, in a, um, you know, just a popular culture that's happening right now, you know, that's it. But as we use it, it's not being utilized in the right manner because we, you know, we get to a point where we get to, you know, you want to uh, target that lower self, you know, yeah. I want to, mm -hmm. so with that, you know, we want to have enough, enough influence for the higher self, and the higher mm -hmm. mind, mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. yes. so you can get on, you can get up, like, I can get up and, you know, search something that'll be, that'd, that that just come off the iron though, you know, because mm -hmm. I, 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 do, I do a lot of traveling mentally, okay. you know, inside the spirit, you know, because it, that's the main, that's, that's where a lot of the knowledge is, you know, and then also, you know, the, uh, the physical, you know, reflection of this, you know, the cyberverse that they have, you know, you got the on the phone and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's a mirror. Yeah. You know, that's exactly yeah. what it is. So yeah. you use your mirror collect correctly, right? You look inside the mirror in the morning, you what you want to see. Yeah. You want to see the best version of yourself. So what you also want to look up, you want to look up things that's going to serve the best purpose. Mm -hmm. You want to serve the best cost of yourself and things like that. So it's a balance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a balance. So it's like putting stuff into the university? Yeah, you know. Every day? Yeah, but at the same time, it also could be, uh, 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 yeah, it could be, if you abuse it in a way, it's, it's the same thing with like anything, you know? You're going to be, it's, if you're not using it in the right manner, then it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be, be intentional. Yeah. All right, well, so guys, that yeah. was great. That was a great warm up. Y'all, yes. y'all, let's do it. All right, we're going to do it. No, well, can I ask a question? Can we talk about? No, because Nikki made a valuable point about when we were young, the lights coming on, the street light was the signal to come out. Mm -hmm. So think about it. What is the signal for our young people now to say, bring it on in, or it's time to take it down? The text message from their mom. Yeah, bring it on in. Yeah, take that value. You ignore that and say, yo, my phone was dead. Yeah, yeah. I promise you, I can hear my mom five blocks. Well, I'm confused by the it's 11 p.m. Do you know your kids? Oh, do you remember that? Listen, it's nine, and they in the house. Why are we waiting till 11? Those are extravagant. All right, so listen, we're gonna take a quick commercial break so that we can pay the bills. And side note, if you are a business owner or someone that's interested in advertising and sponsoring, yes. we are running a special right now for $75. Hit us up on our email at wpbmedianetworks at gmail.com and you can have your commercial feature on any one of the shows that we stream live. All right, Ms. April J, take us on out. Romance and that is included, but I see my that purpose first. part. Yes, yeah. 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 Once he starts to love you, then he starts to pet. Mm -hmm. So you gotta get him to love you first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the financial comes in. Mm -hmm. I also I want to.
protection mm -hmm. yeah. and want to yeah. be I'm very, I am very big on protection. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. When we talk a lot, I talk yeah. about how the most unprotected species is the black woman. Oh, and I think, so, yeah. I think I know. The reason why I went that way because I've been through the finance thing first, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to buy her. Mm -hmm. but, but you didn't love her. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's why you lost her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I did, love me first. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you know, let's think about, we can talk about the finances, but let me see how you can love me. Mm -hmm. You can't just throw money at me. I'm going to take care of it. No, it's not going to work. It doesn't work. Love me or leave. <laughs> this has been dynamic. I mean, you got deep. Yeah, real deep. That was a good question. Yeah, but I still think, man, uh, just like Shakur said, we don't know about those documents. We got to learn about them documents that our people sign and get involved with. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You might, you might have elaborate more on that. You take us on that. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Take us on. You got thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah. Get them up. Right. And look, so these these bonds that you you know the bonds that you sign at birth, what they say with birth, you know, birth the same way as the birth, the birth off of a ship, the same way, right? Mm -hmm. So we we would now sign ourselves up to a certain a certain estate without no lawyer. Their representation is right, so it's a taxation without representation. Once again, right? right. That's one of the offer lists, right? So you got that birth certificate, and that birth certificate comes with a social security number. Mm -hmm. with the, on the back of it is a bond number. Mm -hmm. That bond number also is traceable on a dollar bill that has another bond number oh. that's traced back to you. Right? Oh. So we all got we all got bonds okay. sitting up here, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, you business. know, but we got business. the you know, oh, stock yeah, yeah. Come on, it's a big stock market, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and and then as we go, and that's why you go to social security, they ask you about your uh, your social security mm -hmm. number, and they track it all the times mm -hmm. that you put that number in inside there. It's just the same way as you swiping that credit card going somewhere when you're going to apply for a job and tap this system with that John Hancock. You're giving them you're giving them rights, you know, power of attorney to go oh, inside no. your bond That's and right. give it back to you. So who 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 actually got the money? You know, we yeah. the ones that've been holding the money for the longest time, you know, but they they've been reserving it federally. Right, you know, hey, come on, it's it's federal, federal reserve. <laughs> <laughs> federal reserve. <laughs> federal reserve. <laughs> you're dropping too much knowledge. <laughs> right? Right? Those are the yeah. tools. I'm going to get educated <laughs> on this episode. <laughs> dot dot dot. Walk into a bar. Miss April J, take us on out. <laughs> All right, we're back. I need love. <laughs> you do? No, I got it. <laughs> Be clear. <laughs> I got love. I'm still there. I got love mm. all over me. <laughs> you ain't gonna find it in any part. No, GPS, I got that on. <laughs> so listen, that was a great second segment. These guests, they're on fire. They are dripping with knowledge, intellect, yes. personality. You know, I love it. I love it. Influences. Influence. All right, so I'm about to bat. Y'all ready? Okay. Okay. So I titled this one, But You Say He's Just a Threat. My question is, can men and women be platonic friends slash business partners oh my without there being anything sexual involved? Can you have a female bestie if you are a male? And can you have a male bestie if you are a female? And should your significant other just be with it? And go. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I agree. Yes, you can. Me on the other hand, I, I have a lot of business male partners. Mm -hmm. I deal mainly with men. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I'm about to say, I imagine you're probably male dominated. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Being an author, right, and yes. director. <laughs> That's normally what I deal with. Yes. I would prefer to deal with women because I got to deal with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Like, oh. like, like, okay, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do your sponsorship package, but what's good? What? What was good? But, I'm, I mean, you can, but you can be friends. You can be friends um, with a guy. I mean, I don't mind having a guy friend, I just don't have any right now. Because it's like, sometimes it might turn into something, I'll say, can we just be friends? That's all? I just wanna be friends. I, I really, Oh, I really think that you can. I, I think yes. that it exists. I, I have seen other people that way. Mm -hmm. In my situation, that has not been the case. Um, okay. I don't have a lot of male friends because I, I they normally people that get with me. I, but, <laughs> but 
I think it can exist. I've seen it. it. it I, I've seen it. Now, as far as this um, significant other, that's really, really hard. You know what I mean? Because if you have somebody that you like, y'all grown up together. Right. This your boy. This this is how y'all are. And then you have somebody that comes into the picture, and y'all just a little bit too friendly. I had that situation him. before. Now, and it's like, and that's honestly some somewhere where I would struggle because it's like, okay, so this is your this is your significant other. This is your your bed, your before, above, everything else, all yeah, of that. Exactly. But it's like. But this is my boy that I grew up with. Yeah. So, in all honesty, I don't know where you find that balance. I've had uh, my pastor has said that that should not happen. And that your best friend should be your spouse. That you should not have a person of the opposite sex. And he's not the only person that said that. I've heard other people say that. Of course, you have a first. But see, that's what I mean. Yeah. And it really it it honestly depends on the situation. I mean. If it was me and this and the person I'm with, if this is somebody I trust, I tell you that I trust you. Yeah. And this is, you know, as long as I'm not getting no vibes off of her. It's a, yeah. Right. And as long as we can be cool now, exactly. if you throwing shade at me and we all can't be like friends together and you're doing out. some you're doing some shady things. Like yeah. we have intuition, we know when something oh, is, is off. She gotta go. But it's so it's you know like I don't know like there's no one hundred percent answer to like you know what I mean. Listen, listen, listen. Let's get the Can you just be platonic, <laughs> like say your female friends, bang? That's you, right. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh, but I, nah. <laughs> she has friends on you. Like, is that something that you can move over with? Are you gonna try to shoot your shot that one evening when it's snowing outside and <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing? <laughs> I know a lot of women, 
you know, I, I've always been, you know, close to a lot of women, you know, I mean, they, they're like, you know, some very serious educators, you know, and, you know, especially when you're especially learning the chemistry, you know, and like, before you even get to the physical aspect part, you gotta get through it, you gotta get through it, we ain't getting to that, you know, so, I mean, and that's, I mean, and then even if I have an empress, and that's, that's definitely like on, like, we can build, yeah. There's certain, there's certain women that don't even be want to look me in my eyes, you know. So yeah. because they get to that, because they feel their presence. I don't really have to really put too much, wow. you know, vibe out there. This is bringing that energy, and they're like, yeah. your parents don't look too deep yeah. in his eyes. Yeah. I ain't never scared. Come on, that person. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and and like I like I, you, you, you could be done with a you. It, it it'll get into a situation where you could be building with a sister, and then get empress and that sister start getting you know getting together and start mm -hmm. building and stuff like that. You know, so it's certain lines you just don't even you know think yeah. about even crossing because yes, it just gets to a point where it's like we we build it, we build yeah. this like this foundation here. So like, you know, it, yeah, it, as a one right. key, but as a one. <laughs> Yeah, but you mean. definitely be you be cautious of you know the situation. It's, it, it, it's definitely times when you gotta weed them out. Oh, oh no, that system was a little bit too friendly. Or oh, yes, that right. brother yes. was a little bit too. Yes. He, he ain't coming back up in here no more. You know, yeah. and things like that. You know, but it's it's thing it, for real. You know, but at the same time, we you, you know we hold that respect that ones don't go out those you know those those across those boundaries because you know, I mean once like we we be silent. You know, it just as a as a one, right. we be silent, you know, but if a one try to cross those boundaries just because they feel as though, because they, they come from those environments and things like that, or this sister was, you know, always, or, or this brother was always, or, or, you know, things like that, for real, man. But you, you get yourself hurt, you know, so, yeah. First the hall is shaking over there. He just came to look into my eyes. Oh, okay, okay. You know, we all please. Okay, you have to be honest with with like just with your feelings and just be very introspective about who you are. Like I, I know somebody who she wasn't honest with herself with um, before she got married. There was um, another person that she was vibing with, but she wasn't really honest about the fact that she was not truly in love with her fiance, then husband. Oh. And then, and so wow. time passed, and then they wound up having an affair. But it was because she was not honest, and he wasn't honest either right. from the beginning. And so you really have to know yourself. You have to know yourself. Pay attention, and I think a lot of us are not that way. We're not introspective. We kind of like brush stuff off. Somebody a little too close, you know? Okay, we just we brush that off home, you know? It's just what oh no, they can't be in love. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. how they are. And then or we think oh no, I can't. I'm, I'm good. good. There. I'm, I'm good. good. No, I'm, I'm not. Good. Good. No, I love. I love my husband. Okay. I love like you know. Really? But then they. <laughs> but then you. Get but but like, nobody. Right. Affairs do not happen overnight. None of that happens overnight. You, no. you don't just trip and y'all in bed together like, no. oh my God, I don't no. know what happened. No. Like, no, it's something that has taken place and you ignored the signs until it was too late and that you mm -hmm. So, wow. That kind of segues wow. into my <laughs> other part of the question. Yeah, yeah, so, can you <laughs> hopscotch? By that I mean, can you <laughs> go back to being friends? once you've already crossed that line of intimacy? Or can you be in business with someone who you were once intimate with and you're no longer with? No. I can't. No. Okay. I cannot. No. I okay, flat out no for the women. I can't. Okay. Okay. No, say no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. For, for no. me, myself personally, like when I'm done, I'm like really done. So even if I like when I'm over it, I actually just don't really want the reminder of what mm -hmm. I have done. So mm -hmm. I don't want to see you. Like even if we're still cool, like we can be cool when you over there. But as far as us being mm -hmm. friends, okay. interacting in the same, is there we okay? You just want to pull. You just want to put her on a plane. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that was a lot of problems. 
Well, just me, myself, person, I don't want to see you, but I have a friend who her boyfriend, I mean, they were like really together, together, and they're best friends now. And like really best friends, and I'm like, really? Once we've done business, okay, we've done, okay, we work together. And then what, we kind of split up and then we go back to work and that's not going to work out. It's not, work. It's not, it's not work. It will yeah. never work. Yeah. It will never, ever, 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 ever work. Ever, 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 ever work. <laughs> Trust me. So, I know. It just doesn't ever, work. Ever, so I think that's the time, ever, ever. time and space in between. And also, you want to have pride. You don't want friends on me. And stay So we're done. Like maybe after a while, um, I'll, okay, we can be reconnect and we can establish. But a lot of times people say, well, I think we just better off friends. What? What? It's not like that. When? When? When is this going to take place? It means it's somebody else probably too. Pushing that friend zone, it's yeah, probably someone else. I got too much pride for that. I mean, you know, once it started to get to a point where it's another brother and a sister, or another brother and a mix, things like that, you know, it's a little bit good. I mean, I'm not really. 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 I'm not we did what we did, we decided that we couldn't be together on that level, but we make sense. And by sense, I mean dollars. So you can't wow. put that to the side for the sake of business. If there were no emotions involved, that's hard. If, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm emotional I know, but I'm just saying for, for, the, for, the one, for my one night people, that you just happen to be, you just happen oh, to be, once, you all just happen, happen to be. And they all they just say we don't God, fall into it. I'm just, no, I did say, no, I did say that, but what I'm saying is. And you can't trip into it because she halfway across the country. Yeah, we're okay. But what I'm saying is that if it is just a physical thing right. on both sides, which is rare, but if it's, if it's only physical, if it's not an emotional attachment, then maybe possibly. Women are emotional creatures. We are. We are. I'm saying it's women that can really do it. I'm about to say, make no mistake, though, because I beg to differ. Like, I I can speak to it. It's called compartmentalizing. Compartmentalizing. Because, okay, we were there, and it was good, and then it was bad, and now we have parted ways. But for me, I'm about what makes sense. I've 
depends on the brother. Too. Wants, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's I'm, honestly, yo, women are mental creatures. Once they right. check out, they're checked out. They, they can yeah. be checked out before they leave. Listen. Yeah, y'all know it. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Oh, I will plan okay. your baby shower. Oh, first, <laughs> so first. done. Yeah. First, can you like, give me some peanut butter? I got you. Get butter. married? You'll be, you'll be like, nah, get it yourself, Negro. <laughs> I had one of my exes say to me, he was like, I remember when you were like right here, mm -hmm. that that like, like right here, and now you are so far from. So, the same <laughs> yes. so far from. I couldn't do nothing but like shrug because he was absolutely right. Because when I check out emotionally, he was in Texas. no, no, I was in Japan. Oh, I was all the way. Yeah, I started saying things that I've done wrong. That's when you know I checked out. Mm. I know I could have done things a little better. So I started saying all my stuff that I've done. That made I'm checked out. I'm done. Right. So I started saying all my stuff that I've done. That made I'm checked out. I'm done. done. <laughs> Seriously, that's what all I said. Right, all right, all right. I'm reminiscing about so, like, I could have done this. Like, we're gonna, you guys are more than welcome to continue the conversation. Okay. Dave and I, we gotta take a pause for the call. And we're here at Montego Bar and Grill. This is our household. Walked into a bar. And then we want y'all to check out these great shows we have on WPB Media Networks. Matter of fact, we got D. Glover and Kelly Renee with Thunderous Multiplications, coming to you live every, every Saturday. Every Saturday, Tuesday. <laughs> we have Live Wire. We yeah. have Women's Talk Live. Women's Talk Live. We have that whole season getting ready to start next month. Um, but we also do the Facebook Live with that. We have some amazing content. So listen, we're going to run commercials so you can see some of those amazing shows. And then also at that time, you can go visit the website at www.wpbmedianetwork.com to catch up on all the other episodes. Don't forget about the film fan. The film fan coming to you live. Question. This is the final round. This is the final round. You guys have been so amazing. Look, everyone got a little bit more relaxed. You know, we told you it would be harmless. That's supposed to be the first class. Listen, the place is full. Look, I just look it up. Hey, everyone, the audience. Hey, let me get some fingers now. Out. 
talking about, you know, oh, okay. whatever the billion, I don't even know. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. I'm not, I'm not yeah. into yeah. the lottery yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. They yeah. do it a lot, you know, so. Mm-hmm. You know, country that's in debt. We yeah. got a lot oh, of oh, 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 <laughs> Come on, and, and, this is a, and this again, goes back to taxation without representation. You know, one sit up here talking about we paying taxes. I mean, the people are sitting here, the ones that run the community and yeah. the state, right? And then they take the power out of the, out of the hands of the people and then talk about they're going to, you know, you know, uh, start doing some development re- or, or re gentrify the community, right? Mm-hmm. You know, with that, you know, they're not even taking into consideration of the people's, you know, ideas, what they want to do, what what they what they need in their community. Yeah. Not even the actual people that's actually in the community. Exactly. Ain't going to the they ain't yeah. going door to door, getting you know a need survey, asking yeah. them about what's 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 next, about what they what they want to see inside the community and things yeah. like that, or what they want to do with. It's better yet, and you, know, you, you can't call them and ask them what did I use right. my bond for? You right. know, I'm not. Yeah. You know, it's, it's it's coming it's coming to a point now. You know, the ones sitting up there just basically controlling you. You know, mm-hmm. and then they tell you and they direct you and tell you, look, all right, look. In order for you to get this, you are gonna have to, you know, petition up some. You know, do do something. You know, just go do something. Oh, you know, and then by the time you do that, what they tell you to do, they oh, I got a thousand dollars. They just slowing yeah. up the process each time, you know, yeah. each time. Yeah. Same way we put our put our ideas and, and, and yeah. businesses into a pot and, and, and ask him for a grant, like, oh, master, please, you know, we got, mm. we got, we got, we got, mm. to, to, we got some money from you, you know, so we can be able to, you know, organize some works, mm. you know, and things like that. You know, when, when you're doing that, you go on the side of place where everybody sit up there, master, master, and then mm. it's going, master, master, and that's there, everybody fighting and things like that, mm. you know, over over a couple of, and so that's, and they do that, you know, periodically, you know, and then with that, you know, they investing into our communities daily, you know, yeah. they, they buying up property daily, you know, they place hold property daily, they got, and they put a, put a Chinese, put a Chinese man inside the corner store, and they ain't even gonna hold the store for too long, they just put them in as a placeholder, so that as the, as the development happens, we're gonna sell them this poison, keep them poisoning the people, they're gonna keep buying here, we're gonna take all the money, and then, all right, cool, later on, we're gonna turn this into something that's gonna be beneficial for us, you know, so it's not gonna be anything that's gonna be beneficial for our people, because, I mean, you go to McCullough Street right now, you got McCullough Street right here, you got a vacant property that you could buy for five thousand dollars or whatever yeah. thing like that. Mm-hmm. On the other side of the street, you got you got properties that that's going for almost two hundred thousand. Yeah. Right so it's almost you know it's it's like you know mm-hmm. even more than that. You know and things like that. You know so even when they come to how they how 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 they look at us, you know and and and, 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 and say oh we bring the you know property value down to certain things like that. Yeah. So it makes it not something not not worth investment or yeah. not worth the you know things like that. So I mean it's it's just it's the way they control the system and sit up there and try to place people against each other. They ain't going to directly give you know a million to each children for all that you know you know for reparations of you know enslavement of our people that just happened just. Right. Literally yeah. under 100 years ago, you know, so this is like, you know, they're not going to get to that conversation. They're going to get to, yeah. okay, cool, the same thing they've been doing. All right, look, I know y'all all, y'all all been owning these properties mm-hmm. and stuff, but right. you, I think, look, I think you, you should, you should you sell us this here. property. You should right. Right. Yeah, you, you should, yeah, it's you should go this way. way. You know, yeah, come to the county. Yeah, we got some, yeah. we got some new land for you. We got right. some new yeah. lands for you, boy. You come on out here. You don't need to be down here no more. You know, it's getting tiresome, right? It's tiresome. Yeah, you know, you know, you you know, 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 you they oh, when they take everything, they're going to uh-huh. bring you back in when yeah. you can't own nothing? You right. can't even go outside. And that's yourself. the point. Right. Yeah, that's the point right, right there. You come into, yeah. see, you said control, and that's what my issue is. You come into a community, mm-hmm. and you put people out, because that's basically what you're doing. You're coming in, and you're buying up properties and whatever that have been owned by people for years. You're putting them out, so that's already a problem. Right. And then you're rebuilding it. And then they can't even move back in. They did it in my area. I live in Emerson Village. And when I remember when they tore down the whole Uplands yeah. complex and everything, my church was down the street. They moved the church out and all of that. And I remember just walking around and looking when it was nothing but just vacant apartments. And I was like, wow. They, wow. wow. And so now it's this whole little complex in the hood. And it's so crazy to me because it, it's just this one little section that they built up across the street from Emerson High, and then you go across the street, and then it's something you still got the village. Yeah, it's still got the village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Four point six hotel on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. It's a nice hotel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Top restaurant. Yes. And that's the thing. 
that's what I want to do. I want, I grew up on Perry in okay. Cincinnati. Okay. And yeah. I want to buy yeah. that. It's abandoned. Like, why are you still yeah. there? I want to purchase these homes. I mean, mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. And I think we all should get together and start to purchase blocks, neighborhoods. Yeah. Because it's our community. We it's should community. buy these blocks up. And you know, make it into something. Well, me personally, I would like to put it into a center for domestic violence for women. Okay. But that's why I want to buy these neighborhoods. Oh, but you don't want to be the next thing. Yeah. They'll incite some type of issue that will yeah. issue a riot, and then they'll be burning down of our own properties. Mm -hmm. And you know, like it'll, it'll perpetuate some type of issue that will cause us to burn down our own stuff. Yeah, or just that's something just, to piss. But that's the, but that's that's mental. Mm -hmm. That that's we have to. Make that change. Yeah. Right. And it starts, it starts okay. with us. I'm, I'm very drop the ball on the tape. Go ahead, Dave. Okay. Go ahead, Dave. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop the tool. I'm going to say go to the airport. <laughs> but when you think about it, like some of the uh, people that may own these properties and stuff, they may be older. So they might not be uh, well, much educated oh. on that. So. When you think about it, like, okay, I gotta have a lot of upkeep for this, and then they're coming in with these dollars. A lot of times we just, we, we buy into it. Are they targeting the elders and the great-great-grandchildren yeah. who inherited these houses that they don't live there? And I'll say the They live right. somewhere else. Right. They don't want that problem. They don't want all of that. So those are the targets, because oh, we can get those properties real quick. Right. So this is the thing I want to ask you guys. I live Okay. <clears throat> what is that? That's that's our people now. I live in uh, the Oh, they're saying that they say that. Uh, I live in the county. Meaning that they not involved because they ain't involved. Or that there's some respect. level of mm -hmm. prestige that is associated with your zip code being uh, in the county. It isn't. Well, it would be a real new <laughs> And when I, when I look hey, at it. Hey, you're talking about here in Baltimore now. Carolina. Mm -hmm. okay. No. Look. When I look at it from even from the school perspective, that a lot of parents say, okay, it's a better education, so you have mm -hmm. to, um, we're going to get you over here, but sometimes students come, it's still a city and all that, so because it's still made up when you got a lot of people doing residency, uh, fraudulent residency, mm -hmm. they're still living in the city, and and they may be displaying some mm -hmm. city-like behavior, so it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's so it still ends up being the same. Now, so, and it pushes out to the, the county anyway. Right. So, right. so right. any of the surrounding Baltimore counties, like, let's be real. Uh, it's an it's an it is a change now. There is yeah. pushing them in the county, and a lot of us now are moving into. Well, I mean, other people are moving into the city. Yeah, they're so so moving right down to John Hopkins Bridge. Yeah. Right. It's not even part of Baltimore. That's John Hopkins Bridge. Right. right. So my question is, sort of the same way out there, you know, sort of the same way out there, put, you know. They beat the people up out there places that they, you know, they send them out to the plantations. You know, so I mean, same time, you know, right here, the ports that they that they that they claim, you know, that's not really too much beneficial. I mean, we, we used to run those ports, all those ports up and down. You know, and once they start enslaving our people, and, and that's when you got the Light Street. They start selling our people on Light Street, Lexington Market. They start selling our people on Lexington Market. What was they doing? They were shipping them out to all the different plantations, to the Watsons, to the Wilsons, to the to the to the Jewels, all, all these different all these all these different overseers that was also part of the same, you know, military government, you know, organization. That's the same ones that we talking about when we going to vote for politics in. You know, the same people that was the overseers, the over, same overseers that was downtown, you know, and they was, you know, you know, lynching this man or, you know, selling this man. These they butt naked walking across the plank. Mm -hmm. You know, these same overseers, you know, are now, you know, <coughs> you know, now here, you know, slave catching and still telling. This is it's on a different level. Mm -hmm. I mean what? It's it's all on a different level. I mean out of the county, you know, when they talk about the county, man. It's 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 all the same all, all the city, county, you know, it's yeah. it's at the same time it's all about taking the line from the people, man. They won't this place you mm -hmm. anywhere else and that's it. Next to County, you're going to be in Pennsylvania. You're going to be in mm -hmm. there. They're not up to right. Africa. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. Come on. Yeah. 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 So, so, so this is the question, guys. Who responsibility is it to educate our people on regentrification? Because we just mentioned earlier, our younger people are caught up in social media, and this is kind of driving their lives. Then we just spoke of the elderly. 
they really don't understand it. They don't know how to position themselves when this process is coming into their communities. So, truthfully, who responsibility is it to educate our people on regentrification and how to take advantage of it and kind of, you know, just be averse to it? Because we don't feel the burden for it. Huh? I think all of us have a particular calling and purpose in life. And the thing that burdens you the most, that's where you should be. So for the people that really get upset about the gentrification and, right. and just the just really care about the community and all those are the people, those are the advocates that should be going and talking to the elderly or talking to um, the younger people to educate them and that if that's what you feel burdened to do. If it's not something that you feel burdened to do, yes, yeah, it's, ne it's exactly. necessary, right. it's necessary. Right. But if it's not something that you feel burdened to do, then, right. Because you won't have a passion in it. You won't have a passion for it and you won't really, you'll just be kind of hanging out like, yeah, yeah. We need to do that, like get, get caught up in the conversation and you'll be it, yeah, and right. then it'll die off because it's not your burden. But for the person that is their burden, those are the people that should do it. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying more so purpose and, and being driven and having mm -hmm. passion for it versus and like what I was saying. Prior right. to that. Yeah, versus mm -hmm. like generations as we're supposed to say. Generation X, Y, and That's okay. right. I agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. We carry, we carry the, uh, the torch of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, it's, up, it's our duty to preserve the culture mm -hmm. and also preserve our land. You know, if we, if we allow someone to push us off our land again, we're going to be creating the same things that's been going on time after time. You know, and, and when it comes down to like, you know, teaching our, teaching our children, right. you know, we got to be the ones to teach the children about the real estate and the purpose. They got to learn, they got to first learn the why. Because if they if they if they learn a deep enough why then get that out there, mm -hmm. it's gonna be it's gonna get done, you know, because you, you, you see where Purpose yeah, 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 really, you know, you see the, 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 the you see the reasons of why it's a necessity for our people to have land and especially inside, you know, a, a, you know, the space, you know, of our culture, our historic elements, you know, and, and where our ancestors have, have also, you know, fought to make sure that we had certain things, you know, and and as they as they came, they came and divided up our land, and they and they started dividing up and then trading amongst each other, getting amongst each other, and making it harder for us to get our land. Mm -hmm. Now we got to sit up here and go through a whole application process, and not even knowing the person who's giving us the application. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like it, it's like it's 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 back. You know, we sit up there, got to get qualified to be able to live inside a place and my people's own already. Yeah. You know, my, my ancestors have already owned this. They've already cultivated this seed. Matter of fact, y'all was presenting y'all flag to our people. So if, 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 if before we even get to a point of you know them trying to organize their business because that's all it is, a corporation, United States Corporation, established 1871. You know they was they, 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 that that it's a business, and that's and they, as they run their business, they want you to be able to you know come on, consume, you know come on, we 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 need you here. Give your give your land to us, you know. Give give your give your your your, your gold to us, you know. Give your your, your silver to us, your back. Give us everything, you know, and we're gonna give you security in exchange because that's what we're here for, right? You know, we want you to be free, free of all debts, free of all things. You know, matter of fact, you don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that. Well, you don't need the car. It's too much for you, right? It's too much. We put into inflating everything, you know? Well, you can't afford it. You know, see, that's the same way how they control the families and control. Now they can c c control the emotions of your families up and down because you, you know, you could be jolly one day, then up, here come a bitch. Same way they got to say. Same thing how they got the bills that they pass inside Congress and things like that. You know, you right. can be fighting for one thing the next day and the next thing they don't pass the bill. They can't fight for it no more. Come on, no. You stop fighting sure. right now. You stop, you know, and now you're in depression, depressed. You're not going to a, a, an ascension, you know. You want to stop the ascension by any means. So it, it's, 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 our, it's our duty, though. You see me, I think it's, it probably has to be a task force of people from every area that Exactly. that touch you, whether it's um, teachers, whether it's pastors, politicians, bankers, you have to inform task force. So no matter where you go, you're going to get hit with somebody that's schooling you because the responsibility is too big for any one entity to do so. You have to have task, inform task force to um, tackle. And that's you know, and that's funny that you said that because it's like we going up inside the we going up inside the White House or the United Nations talking mm -hmm. about yeah 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 
you know, my nation need this, you know, and it's just me. They're like, it's what nation you talking about? Yes. Yeah, yeah. What, what people you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. What's your, you said the, 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 the indigenous people, what, what, you say what? what? You know, yeah. black people, what? I ain't even here right now. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's the same way how you go up inside a courthouse and you're representing that one, you know, yes, you know that corporation, you right. know, things like that. But you don't have nobody, no nation behind you. Yeah, you just you, you just represent yourself within a representation. Like, it's, it's like <laughs> you represent yourself within a representation, you know? <laughs> you know, it's like it's, it's like, you know, it's like, so, indeed, indeed. Yeah. That's why they call it the straw man, the fiction sense. Right. You know, yeah. it's, 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 it's literally it, you know. You, they put you inside a war. They put you in a war with yourself. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's it, indeed. You know. So we got to be able to definitely be able to, you know, teach our youth so that we can be able to develop a unified force as we going up and rising against Babylon. Because this, this ain't, ain't nothing but, you know, the, the the system that we haven't created. We haven't created a certain type of system or you know a certain type of structure in the government. You know that we. We, we usually have, we had businesses on, we had Wall Street, we had our own schools, we had our own, all these things before integration, before we said, let's, let's, you know, start accepting someone else's culture, you know, and that's what, and that's what kind of deterred us from our own, our vision, because we had the vision already, we had our schools, we had our businesses, we had our, I mean, uh, Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue was, you know, was, oh, was, was, was that was banging. That was, that was, that was banging. Was, yeah. was, was, Willie yeah. Adams? Oh, come on, man. Oh, it was, it was, it was so many, it was, wow. our culture was banging. And this is, you know, we kept yeah. that back. Come on. Now it's the, don't even give me some. But what they selling though? They selling they selling stuff they getting from the system. Ain't, sure. ain't nothing that we we going up in okay. here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make me uh, some what, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. They, 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 they from the same. Right. They, ain't right. nobody doing that. You know, like they okay. sit up there talking about. You know, they got a different name for it every day. You know, they oh we got the Ray Rice. We got the you know. Yeah, we got this. Come on, anything. You know, and they will sit up there and 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 they like, but it's all the same. Thing. It's all they, they with the, the brother. Asked the brother what a uh, what a buke was. He told me it was a dad going strip a pill. I'm like, wow. So y'all just want, that's like me going up inside there. Give me a Tylenol. Right. Give, give me a damn set set Something that I'm just sitting up here fucking. Yo, I'm just sitting up here going crazy with it, you know. Yeah. Now I'm overdosing on, you know, yep. Tylenols and you know, mm. it's the same. It's 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 it's, 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 it's a thing. Bottle. You know, it, it, they give in and but. They, they giving it to them. You giving them artificial intelligence rather than your natural intelligence. You're not giving them natural elements and what we was already, you know, we was rising on. You know, because you know, agriculture. We cultivate the land. We got the herbs. We got the herbs inside the community. We got the, the woman. She, all the remedies, everything, everything you need, anything you need is already in the household. Go ask grandma. Grandma got it in the cabinet somewhere. You know, it's the same way of how our cultures have. We, you know, we've been. You know, now we've gotten to someone else's culture. You know, because we have it. It's, it's a certain level of security that's needed, you know, and then as as a one sit up there and spin you around backwards and tell you you ain't got nothing and then by the time you turn back around, you ain't, you literally like, okay, what is this? And then you're like, all right, well, you gotta learn a new language in order to figure what this is. Like, right, okay, well, I've been speaking this language for this minute, this certain period of time. No, nah, but you gotta learn this language. Until you learn it, you can't, you, you can't do business on this tier. So we got this tier, this tier, this tier, this tier, but it's a different language on each tier. If you don't like, you gotta keep climbing. And you gotta keep climbing. And you got the language ladder. You know the words sound. You know, come on. You know that's what they do. That's it, it's, so. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We gonna end it out just like this. Okay. We got 90 days, right? And we're gonna build Voltron. So I want each one of y'all to provide your input on what you would contribute to opposing the gentrification in 90 days. And we might wind up back here and walk in the bar in 90 days just to discuss it, but just get it for but what you would do. Right. Let's educate our community on the gentrification. You're gonna add to it or flip it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna jump in and say, you know, I'm gonna go back to the, um, to the schools. I don't even think it should be called schools anymore. We mm. joke around and say that, I think they need to have every like agency or some some massive building where you have a DSS representative, you have uh, like the child abuse unit, drug and alcohol, um, and all these different things. Somebody from DMV, um, like home, like some of the uh, I would say some of the schools should be cut off. We need to like 
homeless people and um, students. So a twelve-step life program. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all of that needs to be because uh -huh. at this point, like. I mean, are we really, is this really school or are we more like a social service agency for all the stuff that we have to do and all the needs that parents and students need? So I think this the model we have right now is not working. It's not. And that's why. You can't learn. It's just not. You're hurting. Yeah. You got, you got too many other things that's impacting them to learn. So we might as well put all that stuff inside one building and go from there. So, so Davis created a, a multi-resource, one-stop shop, one shop for life, and, and we cut Which is actually was what I wanted to do, but I heard from Baltimore, believe it or not. Yeah, we still got time. Uh, all right. All right, who's up next? Who's up next? We're going to pass the ball um, to Jordan. I feel like we all... <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like this is the ball that we give in the huddle. We like to the ball, too. <laughs> 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 we still need to stop the ball in the hard front. Because he's young he's and he's ready. Right. He's ready. 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 They just gave me the cart. Bill Cart. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. So even so, educating our people on many different things. You know, even uh, real estate, and natural real estate. Like, you know, us, us being able to develop our own economic engines. You know, so with that, it takes a certain level of unification and consistency. We gotta be able to build the momentum. You know, so you know, with that, it's like. Getting our ones to a, because it takes education first. You know, education is key for us. To, it's the passport to our freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, if we able to educate ourselves on that why again, you know, it gets back to that why. Because if we educate ourselves enough on that why, then we could be able to execute. You know, execute the way we need to. You know, by our people. So when it comes to like your brother was saying, you know, multi, you know, resource centers. You know, resource centers necessary. You know, holistic healthcare is necessary because we don't need to be going to a hospice or a hospital for any type of surgery or any type of vaccination that we can't provide by ourselves naturally. You know, there's certain things that we gotta get to that level. And then, you know, for real estate in general, you know, so that, you know, those processes don't happen. I say, man, you know, we populate all these areas. All these areas, you know, because if they talk about the property value go down and things like that, you know, based on our population and us controlling it, and they don't want to come here because we here, all right, cool. Let's make enough presence of AI here. We got this. We'll take care of this. We'll take care of these communities. My brethren, uh, you ain't got to sell these jobs no more. We, t we be out here consistently every day now. We're going we to have them. Like you go out in New York, you see brothers out there with tables and things set up, mm -hmm. and you know on the streets, they right. they yeah. ready, you know. Right, well, making packages. Yeah, 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 now yeah, that's they, the they drive past the drug dealers yeah. and go to the person exactly. selling. Right. Yeah, but that's when we gotta educate ourselves on getting vendor licenses. Yeah, license. license. yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. You know, because mm -hmm. it, it gets process. to it gets to a point. It's just taking control of more of our culture because we can we can we can be you know like we got this and we mm -hmm. secure in our own culture. Right. They ain't Ain't gonna be no need for us to be going up there and asking Freddie Mae and Fannie Mac. What was it called? Fannie Mae. 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 That sounds like too much interest, don't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. that, that's what I'm, I'm getting back off of what you said, David, with the resource centers. I think that we can create our own things. Yes. yes. There you go. Yes. 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 That's what I mean. We yes. need to bring all those resources all together. Yeah. And create, but I'm, I'm really big on this. I need you, Scotty Pippen. No, they love it. Seriously, I think that we should. We should create our own thing. <laughs> That's how it, that's where it's gonna start. So we can start buying up all this real estate. We got our own money. Ching ching. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm just where it starts. But like you say, the resource center start bringing in our own things. Like you talk most schools and you talk mm -hmm. about you know churches and things. Like just bring it on there. We can do this. I know we can. And I agree with that too because it starts with education. You can't do anything else that's right. until you until you know what you have. Exactly. Know what you have yes. and know what you need to do. Right. And you have to have some kind of, of um, 
centralized place for or, or just some right. yeah, just resources, right. just for somebody that That's knows it. about it that you can go to right. and say, you know, mm-hmm. how do we do this? Right. How do we have our own banks? How do we go about right. buying up real estate? Mm-hmm. How do we know there's some people that yes. don't know how to look up properties, don't know what the right. that property search is, mm-hmm. don't know anything about that. You know what I mean? So exactly. just even teaching that, mm-hmm. you know, so yeah. All right, I'm great. I'm great to end this up. I'm great. Apologies for the three point jump. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. but I'm, listen, I'm going to give it to y'all. Jump man, jump man, yeah, that's me. No, uh, here we go. No, straight up though. Um, it sounds like we're going to run the process having multiple resource centers to detox and help rehabilitate our people. And then we lead into an educational standpoint of financials, real estate investment in our own communities and restoring the village. Yes. Sounds good? Yes. 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 Plan? Yes. 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 We walked in the bar, we seen, we saw, we conquered. Jump man, jump man, yeah, that's me. Yes. 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 We want to make sure that folks can still follow you after tonight's episode. Absolutely. So I'm quite certain that you've acquired some fans and followers as a result of this. So please make sure that you share with our audience your social media handle. Uh-uh. Yeah. The irony of it all. How do we get in contact with you? See what you're doing. Put you on the microscope. We have an institute for arts and culture, okay. Baca International Institute for Arts and Culture. We just opened up at the Downtown Cultural Arts Center, mm-hmm. you know, uh, mm-hmm. right in the basement. You know, okay. We call it the BA Hub. Oh, you know, okay. so that's you know, it's, uh, okay. being able to connect ones to a, you know a platform for education and inspiration. You know, and things like that. You know, so it's a uh, it's a multimedia platform. We you know we teach. We do a lot of teachings, and uh, we also have an event coming up on the 29th. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so okay. that's uh, that's a cool energy. You find these on Facebook, Instagram, you know, at, what was the at sign, Black Acoustics, you know. Uh, and then you can also contact us because, you know, we just send you, we have everything, you know, electronic form. So mm-hmm. we just send you, you know, uh, it's Private Rides Club. Okay. You know, okay. so that's what we like to do. We want to be able to keep our one and keep our, uh, our, our things private because, you know, we keep, you know, sharing everything, you know, all these, all these, you know, these, these you know, they, they take it, take, they take advantage of, you know, they take advantage of, you know, so. you have at Black Acoustics and then you have an event on the 20th. 29th, yeah, from uh, 8 p.m. At the Downtown Cultural Arts yep, Center. Yeah, Downtown Cultural okay. Arts Center from 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. Yeah. Okay. That's 401 North Howard Street. 401 North Howard Street. Yeah. 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 The phone yeah. number, uh, you can give us a sound of 754-777-9439. Yeah, we'll just send you the application and everything, you know, so you want to enroll into our program. Yeah. 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 So, so, I get that. Right. Well, I'm Paris D. Rose. You can follow me on Instagram and also Facebook. And that's P A R R I S D. Rose. You can also Google me, Paris D. Rose. <laughs> um, my books are on Amazon. All three books are on Amazon. Um, we're working on getting Breathe Again, one on there. But right now, I'm working on Breathe Again, two as well. I'm um, also filming my next movie in May, and I will be at the Cultural Arts Center April the 7th. I'm doing a vendor's event. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm trying to get all entrepreneurs and everybody to come out down at the um, Cultural Arts Center. That is on my page as well. It's on Facebook and also Instagram. Paris D. Rose, that's with two R's. P-A-R-R-I-S-D Rose. Awesome. All right. Where can we follow you? Our <laughs> I am on Instagram at Bold Becoming. Bold Becoming. Um, I am also on Facebook, um, Nikki Bunny Artist. Nikki is spelled N Y K E E. And I have a website, which is um, just NikkiParker.com, where I have my blog. Okay. That's one thing that she hasn't mentioned all night that I just love for her to mention, but I think I should keep going. Uh, and my website is also parasdrose.com. Okay. Two R's now, guys. Shameless plugs, y'all. Shameless plugs. Right. And last but not least, Mr. Glover. I have a webpage. Uh, Kind of long, but www.controversialcounselor.com. And it has all the handles. You click on it LinkedIn, Facebook, um, Instagram. So that would be the easier way to uh, just go on my webpage. And that's www.controversialcounselor.com. David Glover, right. controversial. And Counselor. also, they can go in and get their passports. Two photos. <laughs> 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 and fly your miles. Also, you can see David on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Chicago.
stream it live on the WPB Media Network's <coughs> film fan website. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the only way they can find me, they're going to find me at your local pub, <laughs> Mont Montego Bar and Grill, <laughs> Underground. <laughs> yeah. And so, listen, um, we have to pay homage to our founder here, you know, of WPV Media Networks, April yes, J., the follower on April. I always get it mixed up. What? Why is it a Y or is it just April J1? It's just April J1. I mean, yeah. get the email mixed up with Instagram. No, April, April J1. J1. Also, April J. Um, Women Talk Live. Correct. Um, and so you can also follow us on WPB Media, Media Networks. Network. And then, of course, our director behind the scenes, Seven Nazir at Nazir MSP. All right. And then my co host. Mr. 100, but you can follow me at Ally Baltimore and ET Music Group mm -hmm. on Instagram and on Facebook. I'm David Thompson Singer. Okay. And then, of course, you can follow me. I have two Instagram page. Um, I, my page is at rsbpem.ceo. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then you can also follow me on my business Instagram, which is rsbpgm. And Facebook, RSVP Event Management, LLC. And so listen, i got to plug this. August the 17th, I will be a featured speaker at the King's Ruby's Mentoring Program, second annual I Am Summit. Okay. Okay. The King's <laughs> Ruby's Mentoring Program, second annual I Am Summit for young ladies ages 8 to 17 years old who are aspiring entrepreneurs. I will be speaking on the topic, I am my brand, as it pertains to social media. So go to the website, kingsrubiesmentoring.org, and Ms. Sagana will hook you up with your tickets. It's in Richmond, Virginia. It's a three-day conference, the 15th through the 17th. So make sure you check it out if you have a young lady, or even if you want to donate and sponsor a young lady. The registration is $75 for all three days, and it's an amazing panel of women that's going to be covering a plethora of topics pertaining to I am. All right. So let's make sure that you team tune in to WPBmedianetworks.com where all of our shows are Women Talk Live, Live Wired, Dot Dot Dot, Walked Into a Bar. We have Diary of a Single Millennial on there. And we also have episodes of the Sci Fi Cipher. Once a, month. Once, Once a month. Once a month. That's headed up by Mr. 100 himself. Bars. 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 And and more bars. More bars. So if you and are we need MC, guitars too. And guitars. If you're trying to be featured, please make sure that you check him out. And as always, if you are looking for an advertisement experience or opportunity, make sure you hit us up on email, wpbmedianetworks at gmail.com with your idea. Pitch your shot. We'll take a look at it and discuss options with you. We have a special one on right now. $75. Just $75. Right. Have I covered sufficiently everything? Yes, indeed. Thank you to our panel of guests. Thank Absolutely. you to our great. amazing host, Afani of Montego Bar and Grill. Thank you to our audience. One time for the audience. One time for the audience. I know that's my Jump in, jump in here. That's me. All right, Miss April, can you take us on out?